Hey guys, it's Kelsey, and I'm going to be doing an Iron Man construction guide. whoop de doo right? Construction is just so fascinating on Iron Man. Not, but you need it, and it's helpful, so here we go. So, I'm on a PvP world. Yes, yes, I'm feeling risky. No, just kidding. This is actually going to be the best, me best method you can level your construction. I'm currently in a safe zone right now, too. I'm at the Camelot Center area, and on the PvP world, there is a bank chest. First, I'm going to discuss on the best method to get teak logs. I would say oak, but oak is, I think, 60 XP per oak plank. We want to use teak. Mahogany is a little bit too expensive, so you want to kind of not do mahogany. So this is how I get my teak logs. I get my teak logs through miscellanea. I put it completely in herbs and half of it in miscellanea on teak logs. However, if you want to cut them, that's fine too, and you can just teleport to your house, bank them, and rinse and repeat. That's how you can get them. Honestly, I don't see the need for that whenever you can get it through miscellanea and you can get, and it adds up over time. So construction, I used to run to the sawmill and basically make them into planks, run back to the bank. That's actually really slow. It's less expensive, but very slow. So what I do is I go to this PVP world right here. You have to be very careful because the safe zone is in this box, okay? I don't even know an armor stand. I guess that's if you break your shit. So this is the safe zone is this box, okay? Be really careful. And that guy is PVPing in full third age. What a boss. So yeah, this square box. And so here we're going to teleport to my house. I have a demon butler, and I highly su okay that was Camelot. I highly suggest that you use a demon butler. So this is how I do it. If I'm going to make planks, I will go more in depth. I go to my butler and I use the logs on the demon butler as so. It says, do you want to bring them back to the plank? You want to bring them to the sawmill? And let's say we put 30. And he's going to take them all for a certain price. You say yes. Quickly teleport back to Camelot. And you're going to teleport in that safe spot area with that bank in the safe spot. Okay, and those planks that he took to the sawmill, he will put directly in your bank. But you have to teleport out of your house pretty quickly or else he is going to deliver them to your inventory. So let's try that one more time. Be extremely careful when you X out of your bank. Don't go out in the non-safe zone. It's just not worth it. So we're going to do this again and again and again and again till we get a ton of planks. This is slightly more expensive because you have to pay him 10K every few inventories that he does. I think it's about 10 or so. But it's much faster than going to the sawmill, and he takes them directly to your bank. So I think that extra 10k is worth it with how much more efficient this is. The next way that we can actually start doing construction in our house once we have planks in our bank. So we need to get etc. everything out. Don't have too much cash in your inventory or too many law rooms because of an accidental click misclick in death on a pvp world it's just not worth it so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna already go to my house with the full inventory of planks because why not you know so let's go to my house and i will show you pretty much the quickest way to train construction let's go on building mode Ta-da! and in my situation, I'm going to be making these teak benches. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll call our servant over here just to have him in the midst of things. Don't exit the talking to him, okay? So we're going to build, 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 whatever. Anyway, talk to him, and you're going to want him to go to the bank, take, bring something from the bank. You're going to say teak Law, uh, teak planks, and you're going to want 26 of those. That's 36, Kelsey. All right, there we go. And so he's going to go to do that at the bank while you're sitting here doing your thing, okay? Just building these, these freaking um, benches or whatever you really want to make. It does not matter. Don't talk to the demon butler until you're ready, pretty much. 
okay, and we're getting ready. He's not going to leave you if you don't end the conversation with him. There you go, and say thanks. And basically he brought a little extra because I told him 26, so I think I needed less than 26. Okay, talk to him, and he's going to give you all your planks, and you're going to do the same option. You're going to want him to go back. And this is how basically you can sit here and get over 200k XP construction an hour. I showed you how to basically get your butler to take the logs to the sawmill and make them into planks and they go in your bank. Now this is the best method at pretty much leveling construction, okay? Currently I'm 78 construction. I have a ton of logs and planks in my bank to probably get to 80 something. I don't even know, I'm just doing it. I, this isn't really that interesting to me, but construction is a skill that you need to level on your Iron Man, and so therefore I thought I would do a video on how I do it in probably the most efficient way. Like I said, I get my teak planks from miscellanea. You can cut them. Some people prefer cutting them because they get fletch, they get wood cutting XP and it's quick and you can just take it to the bank, yada, yada, yada. I'm not a fan of that. I just get it from miscellanea. I don't really find a problem with that. I, I would cut pretty much things that I can fletch and my wood cutting level is 85. I, um, that's just my preference. I like to cut U logs, magic logs, and things like that. I don't like to cut teaks, but it's completely up to your discretion. Teaks are great wood cutting XP, so a lot of people like to just cut their own teaks, get teleport to the house, the bank, they send it to the bank, and go back to teaks, back and forth all day long, and then they do the method I explained. So I hope that this helped you guys out and that you saw my way of doing construction in an efficient way for Iron Man. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. I post videos pretty often, and thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all in RuneScape.